Robin, you have that exclusive interview with Tim Cook. Oh, first look at that brand new Apple device. I think few people are talking about it. It is called Apple Vision Pro. It involves a term you may not be familiar with, spatial computing. And yes, I had the opportunity to experience it firsthand. It's the unveiling of Apple's next chapter. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. CEO Tim Cook announcing Apple Vision Pro, their most ambitious product to date. With Vision Pro, you're no longer limited by a display. Your surroundings become an infinite canvas. There was so much speculation what was going to be happening today and what the Vision Pro would look like. What do you think is the biggest surprise to folks? Probably to the magnitude of what it does. Yeah. And it'll do anything that your Mac or iPhone can do mm -hmm. and more. Here at Apple Park in Northern California. Oh, yeah. Apple inviting me to experience a firsthand film look at the device. I have complete control over it. Wow. It's emerging and evolving technology that blends digital content with the physical world, controlled primarily by your eyes, hands, and voice. No remote needed. First, an opportunity to transport around the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm in Oregon, <laughs> right there. Then coming face to face with in-depth memories. I felt like I'm at the birthday party. Moments nearly impossible to fully capture on a 2D screen, like this mindful minute. <sighs> I would live here. This is why. <laughs> for that alone. Oh my goodness, that was... And I'm someone who meditates and I found something new in that moment. Giving consumers a new immersive entertainment experience. Oh. <laughs> and despite all its power, the device surprisingly it lightweight. It was comfortable. I didn't feel, didn't feel the heat. Tim was there to greet me right after. I need the emoji, mind blown. <laughs> this is what you see from me right now. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful object. The real thing, of course, that it does is enable you to see, hear, and interact with digital content right in your physical space as if it's there. That's spatial computing. And it is a big idea. Apple welcoming in a new era of spatial computing. You can immerse yourself in movies, TV shows, sports, and feel like you're right there. You can take photos and videos and then enjoy those and bring back memories as if you were there. It's not about one thing, it's a, it is a platform. And so we can't wait to unleash it to the developers so they can begin to work on applications for it. Great potential at work, home, and at play. ABC News parent company Disney jumping in with ideas of how to use it. But there are questions. There's some folks who worry about isolation, yes. that it will cause you to be more isolated. Have you addressed that? It's a major point that, that was a design point of ours from the start. We, this is not about isolation. This is about connection. This is about having people there that feel like they're there with you. When you talk about tech, of course, people want to know how much. It'll cost $34.99, and it'll be available early next year. It's the most advanced piece of electronics equipment out there. It's tomorrow's engineering today. So you're going to live in the future, and you're going to do it today. Do you think this is something that the average person will be able to afford? I don't know. I think people will make different choices depending upon their current financial situation mm -hmm. and so forth. The engineering and depth of engineering in it is mind blowing. You've got more than a 4K experience in each eye. And of course, it doesn't come for free. It, it costs right. something to do that. But I think it's a great value. When he said $34.99, I said, oh, $34.99, that's, that's not bad. But no, it's almost $3,500. And I've dabbled with some similar devices. This is a computer. This is totally different from what people are thinking about um, where it comes. But, but the price tag is something that... How long do you think you can actually stay? I, I, I had it on for an, uh, about a half an hour. 
and there was no motion sickness. There were 500 patents in the development of this. And um, you have to have a battery pack, and it lasts for about two hours, a, a few hours, but there was no heat to it at, at all. Mm. But still, it's, but still, I mean, the thing that I heard from people, they asked me about the motion a lot, mm -hmm. and they asked me a lot about the price tag. Because, I mean, that is a giant number. I was fascinated by, you know, you, you pressed Tim Cook a little bit about this question of price and mm -hmm. will people buy it. We've seen in the past, I, I wanted to Google this and understand it. I, I found that the uh, first cell phone, that brick that people might remember, there it is. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Ross, uh, in the control room. That brick originally when it came out in 1984 was $4,000. That would have been $11,000 in today's wow. money. And what tends to happen with technology is that it as as it gains widespread use as more people purchase you get the super users first but as more people buy it flat screen TVs are an example here too yeah. the price tends to come down and so a lot of analysts are looking at this as that but people you know those super fans mm -hmm. have to show up first and they're going to give feedback and that's also what they want and I'll use a golfing term you can be on the range all you want but you got to get out on the course right mm. and this is what they're doing they're getting excuse me they're getting out there what do you think you're going to use it for if you used it if I used it um, I wouldn't use it for, I, I would use it. The, medita the meditation part of it was just, I, I, mm -hmm. we both yeah. meditate, was fascinating. The immersion, because I'm away from my family, to be able to actually feel, like if some can't come to the wedding, to be mm -hmm. able to take that and they can feel like they're there. That's interesting. Yeah, but, uh, I, but it's, it's, it, it was an incredible experience uh, with all that I saw. And I, I kept thinking about the endless possibilities and opportunities for this technology. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.